What is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a little bit of lure making. Um, I have just been getting into this here and there. been pouring a few baits, hand pours, open pours, and a few injection molds. But uh, one thing that I've been trying to do is learn which plastics, which blend of plastics work the best and what their kind of actions are. So um, Bait Plastics actually has a deal where they'll send you eight ounces of everything in their line. Right now I'm focusing on Bait Plastics. Uh, I'll probably move on to Dead On and maybe Calhoun's uh, later. Those are the big main three that I've seen. Um, and we'll just try to see what each one of them does. Uh, I've got the, I'm gonna be pouring them into a four inch angling AI mold. Um, it's just a mold that I like to pour and I'd like to see, you know, which ones give me the best action. Uh, haven't quite figured out how I'm going to label them when they all get out and on the, um, table, but I do plan on going from the super soft stuff to the super hard stuff, uh, and just seeing how they do. This will also be, I will not be adding any coloring to it. Um, I've always kind of wondered, it says ultra clear, low odor, all that fun jazz. Uh, I'd like to see, you know, even over time how they uh, cloud up or if they cloud up at all. Uh, I'm going to be heating all of these to 350-ish degrees. Um, and I'm just going to be pouring one bait of each. Uh, we'll kind of just see how it, how it pans out uh, and see what it looks like. So uh, this is by no means the most scientific way, but... It is a way. I mean, it's going to help me out um, even for some other baits like worms, crappie baits, and stuff like that. Um, they kind of tell you what to use, but you never know. You might like a softer bait uh, in a certain circumstance. Anyway, I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to start mixing these up. I'm mixing these up. Uh, I'm going to start pouring them into the Pyrex glass, get them up to 350 degrees. Uh, I probably won't pour, pour them on a griddle just because uh, I'm not really looking for the prettiest bait. I'm just looking for a bait. Um, and I'll actually, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put them in all in different bags. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll label the bags. So once I get that done, I'll take them to a local lake when it gets a little bit less cold and windy and hopefully the water's a little bit warm or water warmer. Water's a little bit clearer. Right now it's a little bit clouded up, but uh, I'll take them out there and show how each one of them swims. Uh, what you're looking for in a swim bait action is, or at least what I'm looking for is good kick and body roll. Now, you guys know as well as I do, a softer bait will have more action, but a harder bait will last longer. So there's kind of a balancing act there. So more to come. I'm gonna get these heated up and we're gonna start cranking out some baits. I gotta make one, nine baits, which is oddly convenient. Because I have three, so I'll make three batches. Wow, this is going to work out great. Three Pyrex cups, three molds, three per bag. Doesn't always work out like that. Anyway, let's get to baking some baits. All right, so first one's out. This is the uh, 152. Initial looks very clear. Uh, sorry for the background noise there. It's at 380 right now. Uh, which is a little bit hot has a few bubbles in it. I think a lot of that's from me mixing it about halfway through but overall Looks very clear Let's uh, pour it. Uh, let's see. So I poured at 350 It's at 360. That's close enough for country music Hope I added enough plastic here again looking very clear well over some over pour overfill there i'm not really worried about bubbles in this and the reason why is a lot of that's probably me um i did the it says do not shake on it but oh well it says do not shake on it uh, i don't know how you're supposed to not shake something with a cap like this on it um, so I shook it, but one way or another, it looks very clear initial thoughts. Uh, so that's the, just, just the regular soft there, clear and soft. We'll put that in front of 
Oh boy. Put that in front of the fan. Let the fan cool that down. And we're gonna mix up the next one. Next one will be the uh, 112 Super Soft. All right, this is the one, or the uh, 112. Looks really clear along like the last one. Doesn't have near as many bubbles. I was letting it sit. Um, where'd my temperature gun go? It is at 330. I'm gonna let that go for a little longer. Not much longer, just about a, a couple or a couple seconds. Try to pop that up to 350. Got a little bit of overpour and some bad dividing there. You kind of get rid of that dividing with uh, the uh, cooling it down too fast. Um, so I overpoured it a little bit. Didn't seem to help. That looks really clear out of the jar, or out of the jar, out of the uh, microwave, and we'll pour it. Nope, over pour on that. That's always healthy. It's really hard to see how much you're actually pouring because it is very clear. That one looks really good. A lot less bubbles altogether. Uh, that looks really clear, really good actually. It looks You can kind of tell a difference. I don't know if it's because this one's already cool and that one's not cool, but uh, it looks different already. Uh, we'll see how it turns out Time to get the next one which is Excuse me the uh, 142 ultra clear low old uh, low odor soft plastic uh, I, After I did shake these up That awesome sticker there uh, I shook them up and then poured them out and I've been letting them sit for about 10 minutes, so Hopefully that kind of eliminates some of that bubble issue all right, sorry about the fan noise there. We'll uh, turn it down. I use it to cool down my cups and pucks at the end of this. But uh, this is the, oh no, PM142 Ultra Clear Low o Odor. I will say this, it has significantly, and you're going to say, duh, Chris, because it has significantly less amount of odor, not nearly as bad. Um, it is very clear off the rip, has some mixing issues, I'll own up to that myself, but uh, very few bubbles in there, had a bunch of bubbles at 313, uh, and then I put it in until I think it was right at 360 there, so a lot of that is how you mix it uh, and what you do there, but I'll pour this one now. Trying to keep the bubbles low. Oop. Again, really hard to uh, tell when you're getting close because it is so clear and it doesn't have any coloring in it. Pour a little bit more on top, see if that helps some of the dividing, but all these are gonna be divoted. So we'll let that one cool and then we'll pop open all three of these at the same time. All right, so just to go through, 152, 112, and 142. Low odor, super soft, and just regular soft. I will say this, just playing after taking the pucks out of the uh, glasses here, they are significantly more soft than the medium blend. I've done a little bit of work with some 112 that just had like a half gallon of it uh, left over from a guy that he gave me. Um, actually bought off of him. Anyway, um, the 112 I have a little bit of experience with. So here's the 152 soft. Well, maybe. Well, I'll just pull that out then. 152 soft significantly more soft than a medium we'll compare medium here later but uh overall that is very soft very clear 
I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but it is uh, very clear. No yellowing yet. And I'm going to put that in the 152 bag along with the puck that I have in there. So that one's in. The next one is 112 Super Soft. As far as, and I'll compare all these here in a bit. I'll lay them all out, probably on the griddle. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see how big of a 90 that tail folds over. Very soft. Uh, you can, I mean, it is almost like jelly. Um, don't think I'll be using this for swim baits anytime soon, but uh, maybe a little bit of a mixture. But anyway, very clear, no bubbles. Uh, again, I think bubbles are a lot of how you mix it up, but that one looks good. Significantly more soft than I would have expected. But I've only, I mean, I've only ever used the uh, 112. Here is the Ultra Clear Ultra Soft Low o Low Odor. I don't know if it's any more clear than the others. Um, definitely smells not nearly like pl any of the plastics. Um, other ones, I will say, I'll take that back on the clear comment. It is probably a level more clear than the other two. Um, but we'll compare that in a while here. I'll actually leave these out and cure, quote unquote, on this griddle here for the next day or so and see if any of them yellow but that's the initial one uh, that's the baseline I guess so there's all the soft baits we're gonna move into the medium blends now I'll clean these up and clean my cups up uh, but yeah so there's all the soft ones all right gonna do the same thing this will be 212 to 242 and then 262 this is the medium standard blend this is the same blend as the 212 uh, but low uh, odor and then the medium hard uh, which I guess is between medium and hard uh, we'll, I've shaken them all up um, I'll get a third of a cup or whatever in each one of these let them sit and then heat them up to right around 350 alright here's the uh, 112 it's at 359 360 very clear not as clear as it has been in the soft but that could be a mixing issue we're gonna pour a couple bubbles in there again I think a lot of that's me enough on top there to maybe keep it from pivoting or not pivoting did it dividing geez put that and we'll do the uh let's see 242s next which is the same one as this more or less but doesn't have as much odor all right this is 242 low odor very clear no bubbles mix it up good there it is in the actual cup it is right at ooh, 390. I'm going to let that one cool off a bit and just kind of see what it does. All right, it's 360 now. It's going to take very long to cool off at all.
All right, and there is the. Wow, did not fill that all the way up. Or maybe I did. All right, there's the uh, 242. Next one will be 262. We'll see how it goes. All right, this is the 262. Bubbles a little bit in there. A lot more, actually a lot more bubbles than there have been in the past. I'm not sure if that's from me or from the product, but it did take longer to heat up for some reason. Again, I don't know if it's the product or the uh, glass I've got it in, but it took a little bit longer than the other ones to get the 360 that is we're gonna pour Yeah, well, overport on that one. But uh, yeah, there's all the medium ones. Uh, so we've got 212, 242, 262. We'll uh, let these cool and I'll peel off some of these overpour spots and we'll see what they look like. All right, here it is. Here is the 212. Not nearly as much of a tail sag as the Super Soft or any of the softs. Uh, I think they're e it's equally as clear. Um, yeah, it pretty well speaks for itself. Uh, let's see if can't get some close-ups of that. Hopefully you guys can see how clear it is, but uh, definitely not as clear as the Ultra Clear, but it's not Ultra Clear Mix. I think that is the 242, so I'll get that one out here now. I'll compare these two right now. 242, 212. Uh, I would say that's a bit clear. I don't know if it really can, if you really can see, but that one is, I think it's a bit more clear than this one. Um, that's the low odor as well. So it definitely, definitely has less odor. Now I'm pretty, pretty uh, surprised by that actually. And here's the 262. So this is the medium hard. So medium hard, and that is your medium, just your standard. Uh, I would say the tail is a little bit less drooped I don't know. Actually, I think I did not pour that very good. It's got a cold crack in it. But long story short, I think this one has a little bit more of a sag to it than this one. But that could just be my eyes. By feel, this one's definitely a little bit harder. So there's a 262. There's a 242. Um, I'll get these harder ones mixed up and ready to go. All right, this is the 312. Looks very clear. A couple micro bubbles, but it is very hot right now. I think it was at uh, 390. So we're gonna let that one cool down a little bit, probably to 350. And uh, once that happens, we'll pour it. All right, it's close enough for me. That's 360. Good way to start off the bat with a real big bubble. Trying to go relatively slow so I don't get too much overpour, which I got some overpour there, but that's pretty well what it looks like. Uh, that right there is dried, so we'll see. The next one will be 
242. Or not 242, 342. Which is the same as this. This is actually the saltwater hard lure. 342 will be the ultra clear, low odor, hard plastic. So we'll get that one poured next. All right, this is uh, 342, ultra clear, low odor. Definitely does not have, it definitely is low odor. Um, so that's good. Here it goes, it's at 360. Like every time I pour my heater kicks on. All right, there's 342. All right, I'm gonna claim some human air on this. Uh, this had a bunch of bubbles in it. Um, and I think it's because I stirred it before it was ready. It was like right at that temperature where it starts gelling up. I will say this, even at 360 degrees, it is significantly more thick than the other ones but this is 362 or four or something like that, some number right in there. Um, so it is the, I think this is the ultra hard and it is thick, very thick. <laughs> I, I can't believe where I'm even pouring this right now. Uh, had bubbles in it, but it looks like it poured pretty good. And it looks really clear, actually. But it did take longer to heat up than I would have expected. Uh, again, I don't know if it's that glass or if it's the hard stuff. Like, it seems like um, every single plastic that has a little bit of hardener into it takes a little bit longer to heat up. I don't know if that's just because it's I've used every single hard one in this glass or I guess the hardest one of the, you know, little category there in this glass. And I don't know if it's this glass that's making it he take longer to heat up or what it is, but these are all three, the hards. Um, so let's see, that's 312, 342, and that is super tough, 362. So we're gonna let all these dry and then pop them open. All right, this is something interesting. I've not interesting. I've not demolded any of these yet, but normally I can take my fingernail and kind of like press on the edge and pull it off like that one just, you know, kind of came off with a piece. I cannot for the life of me without some extreme force get that little piece of flashing off. This stuff is when it says super tough that is some super tough stuff. I don't think the action would be very good in a uh, four inch swim bait mold. Uh, I think this is mainly for large toothy critters, uh, like musky, pike, stuff like that, May, uh, even saltwater stuff. But that is, that is, I'm telling you, that is, uh, obviously it's the toughest stuff they make, but that is incredibly resilient to tearing these are the same because one's just low odor and the other one's not but enough me enough of me rambling i will demold these now because so we're actually done okay maybe we won't turn it off all right so here they are here's all the hard ones 312 342 362 these are relatively the same uh one's just low odor very clear same uh, actually this one's probably uh more clear this is the 342 so it is i would say it's definitely more clear than the other one than this one uh very very tough does have some cold cracks uh i'm not really worried about that that's just for me pouring it you would actually get rid of those on the griddle but uh, overall yeah this is definitely some hard stuff um, you can kind of tell by the 
Uh, the boot here, it is definitely more uh, straight than the medium and definitely a, way more straight than the uh, soft. So, let's see. Whew, I went backwards here. Got to keep these straight. So, this is 342. This is 362. And you can even tell 362 is incorrect. Like, it is way more stiff i guess is the best way to put it um rigid very clear very thick though when you pour it at temperature this is you know you can tell the difference there so i'll get a few i'll get every, some other things set up and get all the baits poured out and ordered and then i'll kind of do one for well i guess three we'll do a hard one a soft one and a medium one and we'll kind of just hold up all the tails together and show you guys what they look like all right if I can figure out how to hold these things to make the most sense but uh, I'm gonna try to compare the tail sag to each different one so I'm not sure if you can see that hardest middle and softest they each have a different level of sag in the tail um, you can kind of tell the bottom one has the most sag so it is by far the softest and I mean just I thought I was gonna have issues trying to tell them apart when I laid them on the ground or just forgot which ones they were uh, you can definitely pick it up and tell uh, as far as the ultra clear part of it these are all the uh, ultra clear low odor ones um, for some reason this one's starting to cloud up a little bit I'll, I'll just say that outright I do think it's still a lot uh, very clear but it's starting to cloud um, which is strange because this was poured this one here was poured first that one was in the second batch and this one's in the third batch and it's kind of strange why that one's clouding up already but uh, maybe it's just the light uh, it, it might just be the light but I do plan on laying these out on a piece of plywood in my shop and just seeing how they do over the next couple days um, I will update y'all with that but overall that's pretty well the comparisons. I hope I hope this was somewhat useful. Um, so that was the entire lineup by without any softeners, without any softeners or anything else added. So no salt, no pigment, just the plastic. Um, so I'll make probably make another video of all the action and what they look like afterwards. So. Um, and I'll just do that just because of time and just kind of keep all these things, you know, within a reasonable time frame. But hopefully y'all you learned something. This is informational to at least one person out there. Boom. All right. Um, it is the next day after pouring these baits. Um, and it's time to see if they held up their clarity. I saw somebody on the interwebs the other day say oh yeah look 24 hours later they're still clear i don't know if that's got anything to do with them it's been 24 hours i did not do this test uh in the first initial you know whatever's so maybe this can help how show how clear they are um but you can still see that too pretty good um that one you can still see that one pretty decent and that yeah so I mean I'd say that's still pretty clear still clear and maybe a tad cloudy I'm not sure I'd still say that's just as clear as any other one this one as well just as clear as any of the others uh, just as clear and what I'm looking at is just the numbers in the back there so and if you can see them through it so I don't know it looks pretty clear to me the let's see still about the same consistency did not or not consistency but I don't know how you want to say it durability that is still very soft uh, yeah, that one is yesterday. I would say this one is, this is the medium hard stuff. 
uh, when I shot these, not shot these, poured these, all three of these, I would, would have said are con similar consistencies. Um, I would say today, this one is definitely a bit harder, not much harder, but it's definitely harder. And then all these hard ones down here are just really hard. That's the salt water stuff. I think that's the ultra clear, low odor. And this is their ultra hard stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you like that is, that is incredibly hard. Uh, definitely not for small swim baits, but um, nonetheless, good to experiment with. So I'm not exactly sure how that's going to play into my editing. I think I ended the video yesterday. I don't know if I said something about doing this today. So this might be broken up in the very end or right before the very end. So, um, yeah, let's see what I said before and if it lines up, if it did line up, that's great. If it doesn't, uh, sorry about it. You saw two end clips. So anyway, yeah, I'm just not going to say. All right. So this is like the third time I've ended this video and I said I was going to do a different one, but here it is anyway. Um, we're gonna go from the softest to the hardest in action. I dyed each one of the tails chartreuse. Uh, not gonna put a hook in them. I'm only gonna use a screw. This is like a screw on, a screw lock for swim baits. I just took that off one of my swim bait hooks. But this is the uh, 112. Like I said, I've not done anything to these. Hopefully they screw on all right try to get them in the center but uh we're just gonna go bait by bait a couple split shots to give it some weight but uh, i'm just gonna walk it around so hopefully we can see this little bit of body roll and head roll it's not exactly running the greatest because I don't have any weight in the bottom of it but it is it does have some really wide tail action and some body action on to the next one all right this is 142 Oh yeah, I think this one's working a little bit better because it's poured better, but lots of tail action, lots of body roll. This is the soft stuff, soft stuff. This is 152. Uh, this is just soft. The other two, the 112 and the 142 are ultra soft. So this is just the soft. Not exactly wanting to run, right? A little bit less body roll. It's actually running upside down because there's more weight in the belly. There it goes. But I would say similar, definitely, whoop, definitely a little less action not considerable amounts though but does not take very much at all to get that tail to move time for the medium blends all right this is 112 the very first medium blend oh wow it's got some got some line twists going on and we'll try that Okay, there we go. Tail action moving. Good action. Have to move it a little bit faster to get that action though. That's probably the best one so far that I've seen, but I've not moved them very fast either. Hmm. 
definitely got getting a lot of twists on that one, but uh, probably could do with a different hookup ratio or a hookup method. Get some of them line twists out. And I'm not holding the twist against the bait. It's probably just me. Look at that. That looks good. So that's your standard medium, or yeah, your standard medium blend there. That's the, the 112. We'll go with 142. This is the ultra clear. I would say this is clouded up some. Um, the actual 112 looks a bit clear. Now this is still pretty clear by my standards, but it is clouded. Same action. This is actually the same blend. It just has low odor. Well, it's supposedly low odor. No, it's definitely low odor, not ultra clear. I wouldn't consider it ultra clear, but it does have really good action. This is what's recommended for these four inch swim baits is a medium blend. Um, anything harder than that will not result in a really good action, but this is about the only thing that I had to be able to compare at the time off all nine of these. This is the 262. This is a medium hard. Again, lots of tail twists. This thing likes to twist up. I think that's a lot of the imperfected pouring. Uh, more. Oh, there we go. A little bit better just need more line out definitely have to reel faster but overall pretty good in action not sure how much we can see of that but There it goes, that's a good shot. Moving it pretty fast though. I would say at a medium speed, you'd still get some good action out of it. It's definitely not gonna be as good as the soft at a slower speed, but I would say that's getting right at the edge of being too hard for this. Um, we're gonna bump up to 312. This is the saltwater blend. Uh, significantly harder than uh, the last one, 262 in my opinion. And this is by no means perfect testing. It's just what I've got on hand and thought would be a good, a good test. Um, I can redo this. This, is, this one's actually taking less Lots of body rolls. There we go. It's got some good thump to it. Just takes a little bit to get it going. That would say, I'd say that's an average, whoop. Average reeling speed there has okay, okay action. Definitely very tight. Um, definitely very tight. Does not like being, does not like being slow rolled. So if you're using this, it may act different with an actual hook in it, but 
Um, this was something that I was using for bass, probably not, but you know, salt water maybe, uh, at least in the four inch. This is the uh, 342 ultra clear low odor. All the low odor stuff is supposed to be ultra clear. Um, it's definitely lower odor. I can tell that already. Um, not already, but when I was when I was uh, pouring it anyway. But yeah. Oh, lots of body rolls. I do not think my method of testing is ideal here. It is really not wanting to kick. And I think that's part of the reason why it's <laughs> part of the reason. Even on the fall, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Kind of just holds, holds shape and form. It does have some wobble right there. Very tight, very, very almost, almost a non, almost no action on that. And I would be surprised if this, uh, ooh, sorry. I would be surprised if this uh, 362 has any action whatsoever. I'm actually kind of surprised this screw lock is going through it. This is very tough stuff. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of hard to even pinch that through. We're going to have to move this one pretty quick. So it's got some body roll to it. I should have been doing this the whole time. Still has some decent action. I would say a lot of that's because it's not being, oh, there's some body rolls. I should have just been doing this. Very slow, needs a lot of speed. So if you're fishing fast, fishing fast, it's still pretty good. Actually, I should have been doing this the whole time. Dang it. Sorry about that, fellas, but That's the ultra hard stuff. All right, so that is from start to finish, pouring, molding, uh, testing on clarity. This is actually, these these are three days after. I took a video of them one day after. Um, I would say the only ones that have changed are the ultra clear, and I actually think they're a bit cloudier um, than the non ultra clear low odor. Um, I would still pay the money for the low odor personally. Uh, I think that stuff, uh, the other stuff kind of bothers my nose a little bit, to tell you the truth. But it'll get over that. I've got a respirator and some fans, so it's not really all that bad. Just do it in an enclosed area that's well ventilated. Or, well, that sounded bad. Don't do it in an enclosed area. Have good ventilation. Anyway, the soft stuff definitely takes less, um, less speed, I guess, less reactions to get it to move good. Uh, the medium stuff is probably uh, obviously your your does not take as it takes a little bit more um, and then the hard stuff takes a lot of movement to actually get it to kick um, these are all four inch i realize that you know a larger bait for the harder stuff would give you more action um, and vice versa there you know smaller baits with hard hard plastics don't exactly give you the greatest action um, the middle of the two, like if I was gonna start pouring these uh, for customers or something, um, I would probably use some of the medium stuff um, and maybe even the soft uh, personally. Not the ultra soft, just the soft. Um, I would recommend these products. They are very easy to get to, get a hold of and actually start pouring your stuff. This is the first, I would call major pour system that I've done. Um, I use the Angling AI 4-inch open pour. Would recommend that as well. It's a really good body. You can pretty well do anything you want with it. It comes with a hook slot. The 4-inch one, I don't know if I'd get the hook slot with it, but I have the option to leave it out. 5- and 6-inch ones, I'd definitely get the hook slots. But, um, yeah, overall, I hope this helps somebody. I know this is the third ending to this video, 
Um, this will just be an totally encompassing video on my experience with all of the bait plastics. Uh, if you guys got any questions, please let me know. I'll answer them to the best of my ability, even though I'm not all that knowledgeable on this stuff yet, but I plan to be in the future. Um, yeah, everybody should be pouring their own baits. It's a lot of fun. You come up with some colors that you definitely can't get in stores. But hopefully you stuck around to the end. I realize this is probably going to be a long video, but uh, hope you, hopefully you guys learned something. Thanks for tagging along for this one. Catch you on the next one.